electrolytes and the identification of strong and weak electrolytes substances giving ions that is dissociates in solution we call them electrolytes for instance ab upon dissociation gives a plus and b minus as it gives ions so ab is an electrolyte now if dissociation is 100 percent then it is a strong electrolyte for which alpha the degree of dissociation is equal to 1 and if dissociation is less than 100 percent then it's a weak electrolyte for which alpha is less than 1 for example among acids except hydrogen cyanide carbonic acid acetic acid boric acid hydrozoic acid or hydrogen fluoride almost all other acids are strong for instance the mineral acids like sulfuric acid nitric acid hydrochloric acid they are very strong among bases if we have the bases of group first a and second a metals that's alkali and alkaline earth metals they are strong for example potassium hydroxide sodium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide etc however the rest of the bases will be weak for example ammonium hydroxide aluminium hydroxide copper hydroxide as they are not the basis of alkali alkaline so they are weak bases or weak electrolytes now among salts as salt is obtained from acids and bases if any one among them is strong then salt will be strong but if both are weak then salt will be a weak electrolyte for example in this case sodium chloride is obtained from hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide which are both very strong hence it's a strong salt similarly ammonium chloride as it's obtained from ammonium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid ammonium hydroxide is weak but hydrochloric acid is strong so ammonium chloride is a strong salt or electrolyte but as you see ammonium cyanide is obtained from hydrogen cyanide and ammonium hydroxide both these are weak so ammonium cyanide as a salt is a weak salt or electrolyte i hope you understand it thank you